Here we go. Welcome back, Revolt family. Uh, today's workout of the day is double down, and it is going to be for time. All right, so however long it takes you, we're going to go ahead and set uh, a 30 minute time cap. If this takes you longer than 30 minutes to go ahead and do, make sure go ahead and decrease reps somewhere along the way so that you get the right stimulus. Okay, what is it that you're doing? You're going to go ahead and do a hundred line hops. 50 sit-ups and then a 400 meter run then you'll do 80 line hops 40 sit-ups 400 meter run 60 line hops 30 sit-ups 400 meter run 40 line hops 20 sit-ups 400 meter run and then 20 10 and 4 and 400 meter run again so that's basically the workout that you're doing again if, if you're seeing that maybe the rounds are taking you say longer than five minutes I would probably shorten that run maybe instead of doing a 400 meter run do like a 200 meter run so it doesn't take you quite as long the warm-up for this guys is always you want to make sure you get your heart rate up break a sweat kind of get the body going nice and loose before you actually hit the workout we're gonna start off with uh, a little eight minute mover we're gonna start off with line hops so you're gonna go ahead and do one minute of each so line hops again think about your feet are gonna be underneath your hips and you're just going to be on the balls of your feet hopping to a line and back so you're going to do that for one minute. Once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and do glute bridges, which is going to be on your butt. Bring your heels as close to your butt as you possibly can. Hands out to the outside. Squeeze those glutes. Drive the hips up and then back down. Drive the hips up and then back down. You're going to do that for a minute. Once you do that for a minute, you're going to go back to your line hops. Line hops, same thing. Standing on the balls of my feet, hopping back and forth to that line for one minute. Once you do that for one minute, we're gonna go ahead and do a hollow rock. With the hollow rock, I'm always thinking about squeezing the core, getting nice and long, squeezing the quads, uh, toes are pointed at the front. So we're gonna get into that hollow body position. Then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just rock back and forth. And we're gonna do this for one minute. Once you do that for one minute, guys, we're gonna go back to our line hops. Then we'll go back to our glute bridges. Again, with the glute bridges, feet are close to your butt. Drive the hips up, back down. That is one, you're gonna do that for a minute. Once again, you're gonna go back to your line hops for one minute. And then the last thing you're gonna do is sit-ups. With the sit-ups, if you have um, an ab mat, perfect. If you don't have an ab mat, no big deal. Grab a towel, fold it up. Uh, maybe about two, three inches thick. And you're gonna put that kind of in your lower back area, almost as if it was an ab mat, guys. From there, feet are gonna be out. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze my quads, make sure my hips stay on the ground. If you ever get that cherry on the back of your butt from your butt rubbing, it's because your hips are coming off the ground every time you do a sit up. So if you squeeze your quads, that's gonna help you keep your hips on the ground and it'll avoid getting that little rub. From here, reach back, so it's behind your head, use the arms to go ahead and propel you back. Think about whenever you do toes to bar, the first thing that happens is, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down with my arms. Same concept here, right? If this was a toe to bar, I'd pull down with my arm and bring my toes to it. Same concept here, except I'm going to use my arms to start the movement, touch my toes, and then come back. All right, so you're gonna do a minute of that. So again, the warm up, eight minutes. You're gonna do one minute of line hops, one minute glute bridges, one minute line hops, one minute hollow rock, one minute line hops, one minute glute bridges, one minute line hops, and one minute of sit-ups, guys. Once you do that, we'll go ahead and hit the workout, which is double down, and you're basically gonna be doing a lot of line hops. If you don't have um, a jump rope, that's what you're gonna be doing. If you have a jump rope, then you wanna go ahead and hit double unders, and for the double unders, it's going to be the same number of reps, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, as you do with your sit-up. So think running Annie, if you will. Um, if you don't have a rope, no big deal. You'll go ahead and you'll do the line hops. And again, you're just hopping on the balls of your feet to that specific line. Sit-ups, same concept, guys. I really wanna focus on squeezing those quads, keeping the hips down, touching my toes, and then going back. And then your 400 meter run, your run should probably take you no more than let's say maybe two minutes and 15 seconds two minutes 20 seconds at the very most um so if you're seeing that it's taking you longer than that what i want you to do is go ahead and shorten up that distance instead of a 400 meter run maybe do a 200 250 meter run something like that 
uh, should take you, you know, roughly between a minute 30 and two minutes. That's a good time for a 400. Anything longer than that, go ahead and shorten that distance so we can keep the stimulus. Um, have a fun with this one, guys. Uh, go ahead and take a selfie, post it on the members page, on Instagram, whatever it is that you guys want. As always, stay healthy, take care of the families, uh, wash your hands, don't touch your face. If you're going out in public, make sure you wear a mask. And again, guys, see you tomorrow. Tune in.